Welcome to Nick Software's Color Effects Pro. I have this installed as a plug-in to Photoshop and my image is open in Photoshop right now. To, so to get it, I'll just go ahead and go up here to Filter and maybe you can barely see it. Come down here, it says Nick Software and then across to Color Effects Pro to bring that up. There we go. Now the very first thing I always do anyway is come over here and look at my one of my little view thing. I want to see the image and I want to see everything I have available for my changes. So I click on that guy and you have about 52 of them. So there is just more than enough to keep you busy for just hours and hours and hours. They also have nice tabs over here. So this being a portrait, I'll go ahead and click on that and have some effects there. Let's just take a look at one of these. And what do I want to do? Bleach bypass. That is almost always one of my favorites for all kinds of images, not only portraits, but it makes really, really dramatic, compelling kind of effect. Now for each effect you decide to bring in, over on the right side of your interface you're going to have uh, sliders unique to that particular setting. One thing that will be common to everything you bring in is that you've got these control points that you can drop. So if I click on, let's say, the minus control point, it's going to remove the effect wherever I click. And let me click there just to bring it in. And you can see it removed the effect. If I grab that to reposition, bring that guy around, and you can see the amount uh, uh, affected is quite large actually. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just kind of bring that guy down a little bit, let's say on the eyes. Now if I want another control point, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to do an Alt or Option key, click on that, and drag another one. So now I have another point. Okay, and down here I only have one option, the opacity, uh, all the way up to 100% or down to 0%. Uh, if I decide that I don't want this control point, just with the sliders uh, active, just hit the delete key, make it go away. Now with this particular point over here, now I don't want to continue working on my image with this point here. It's a little bit annoying to see that. I, I can't really get a better idea of what the heck is going on. So uh, what you do is you just kind of click anywhere and, and make the sliders go away. And then when you move your cursor off the preview window area, it disappears. And only when you come back onto your image do you have it again. Where are you? There you are. And go ahead and click on that to select that particular control point and then hit the delete key again. Okay, that's Bleach Bypass, a real favorite of mine. Other one for portraits, uh, which is very nice also, is Glamour Glow. And you get your own set of controls over here with Glamour Glow. The glow and the saturation and the glow temperature to make, uh, pull it to the right to make it warmer, pull it to the left to make it cooler, and the saturation, you pull that all the way down. Uh, here, it's, oh, it's not quite a black and white, but almost like a colorized black and white image, which is quite nice, actually. I might want to make that a little bit brighter. And one thing you can do, if you want to make the shadows brighter, pull up this guy. And if you want to make the highlights darker, pull that guy up a little bit. So you gives you extra flexibility to play around with your image. And again, as always, the control points. Now if I wanted to do what else? Styling maybe? I want to I wanna find one of these uh, for, hmm, how about colorize possibly? Let's try that one. Okay, so you can play around your colorize. With some of these presets that you get, you will have different methods that you can bring in. And here's one example here. You can click on those. Just hover over um, these little guys to see what your different effect is going to be. Okay, what else have we got to play with today? This one's really good, too, for uh, portraits. Dynamic Skin Softener. 
And you can already said, see, that's done a great job. And again, coming down here into my loop view, I just kind of come across the face here. Look at that before and after. You can see what the heck is going on. That kid happens to have pretty smooth skin to start with, I'll tell you that much. But in any event, you can choose skin color over here, and then you work work on all your other sliders uh, to really smooth out the skin. I should have brought up a picture of myself. I definitely need some skin smoothing. Film effects is uh, another one of my big favorites here, and always. And you have all your options over here once you get into your film effects. And look at them all. Look at all these different films you have down here. Uh, Fuji Superior Kodak Ektachrome. Um, uh, yeah, Fuji Superior. What did I used to shoot? I used to shoot uh, Fuji Chrome Velvia. Um, that was that was one of my favorites. Uh, so the film effects are fantastic also. And again, of course, you get your options for brightness or contrast, and you get your control points you can drop in here uh, to control how much or how little of that effect you want to come in very on very specific parts of your image. This is really a fantastic program. I really recommend this. It's great fun, and you can just play with this forever, really. One of the ones I was playing with a little while ago is Paper Toner. This is really cool, too. And again, although they do have this, this one setup for black and white conversions, well, this is another one if you click on Paper Toner. And you've got your options for different kinds of paper tone. And you can see them coming in. Ah, very nice. Very nice. And you can get all kind of effects that's almost like a CP effect, not exactly, but not bad control points. And the strength of the effect, of course, ah, very nice. That brings in more of that CP effect on that. Real good. And then maybe what, do we want to lighten up the shadows a little bit? See what kind of effect that's going to have? Maybe a tiny bit of lightning there. Not a whole lot. Do I want to make the highlights darker? Probably not. I'll tell you, with this strength of the paper all the way up, I'm not seeing much of an effect coming in here. If you click on this little arrow, you can get an idea of your histogram here. So that's pretty good, huh? Yep, and you can see your histogram change as you play with your sliders. See what portion of your image is falling into brightness values in the pixels. Infrared thermal camera, infrared film, another great black and white way to go uh, with your effects here in Nick software. And styling, you have a whole lot of different ones for there. Midnight Monday old photo, I like that too. That's, a, that, that's another favorite effect of mine, that kind of vintage photo look. Uh, and on this one, you can be controlling the brightness and the grain, and you could be bringing in different styles also. Again, very nice. This is a great program and highly recommended. You have different view options. If you click on this one, you get kind of this before and after with this line in the middle where you can uh, hover your cursor over the line and then just, then just drag it to see the before and after effect. And the other option you have is just to separate your before and after completely by these. And there's the whole image again. If you want to zoom in and get your preview, uh, click on this guy or hold down, as it says there, the Z key uh, to be doing your zooming. And then if you want to zoom out again, just... Uh, wow. Wow. If you want to zoom out again, hold down the Alt key to get the minus. See that? And then give that another click to get back out again. And then you're kind of stuck in the zoom key thing, so you have to go back to the hand tool to be doing, making your other selections here. Okay, have great fun with this. It is, it is so cool. That's another great effect. I mean, I could just go on for hours and hours on this. Landscape. Click on Landscape. You can drop fog in if you want a nice fog effect uh, over a lake or something like that. This is a great way to do it. Different methods of how to 
Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Okay. Have great fun. Good program. Nick Software. Color Effects Pro. You can do all sorts of stuff. Puts a lot of power in your hands. I love this program. Thanks a lot. And we'll see you next time.